Hi K4, happy Friday. Make sure you guys check Facebook today to see if you are the lucky winner if you posted pictures. Um, so go ahead and go check that out tonight at 8 o'clock. They're going to be picking out of the raffle, okay? So today we are going to review our letter S and our letter T, and we are going to practice writing them, all right? But before we get to our board work, I want us to go over our blend letters, and we are going to start with the letter S in seal, okay? So there's only one vowel, so what does it say? It's long sound or short sound? It's short sound, very good. So let's go over it. S, A, S, A, S, E, S, E, S, E, S, E, S, A, S, A, S, A, S, A. Now we're going to do it faster. We're not gonna sound every sound out. We are just gonna read it, okay? Sa, se, si, sa, sa. Nice. Now we're gonna do the back. Ready? Sa, si, sa, sa, and se. Very good. All right. Now we are going to do our letter T like a t t tiger. Again, there's only one vowel, so it says it's short sound. It should have a happy face on top. Ta, te, ti, ta, ta. Very good. Now let's do the tricky one. Ready? Ta, ta, ti. I can do this in my head. T, it says ta, and then say it out loud. Ta, very good. You guys are getting so smart. Now we are going to look, look up here on our board and we have this first one. This is our capital S and s, 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 s says s in socks. Very good. Now we have our lowercase s and that says s in sandwich. That looks like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now we have our letter T, our capital T, and T in tiger. Good. And the last one, our lowercase T says T in, what is this? A tent. Very good. Has anyone here ever gone camping? I've been camping and I got to sleep in a T, -t tent. So now we have our letters here on our board. So let's look here. We have our upstairs, we have our downstairs, and we have our basement. Does the letter S or the letter T go in the basement? No, they're too scared to go in the basement, right? So we are going to start with our capital letter S. And it starts upstairs and it goes downstairs. So it goes to both places. So it looks like a snake, right? So we got to do a squiggle. Ready? We're going to start there. We're going to curve around and we're going to go downstairs and stop right there. We don't go in the basement, right? And we make sure that we touch the ceiling and we touch the floor. Okay, look. All the way around. Now for our lowercase s, does it like to go upstairs? Does it like to go downstairs? No, it only stays, I mean, it doesn't go in the basement, sorry. It does go downstairs, it only lives downstairs. Not upstairs and not in the basement. So it's the same shape as the capital one, but it's just smaller. So let's try it. We touch the little line, we go around, it touches the floor and it curves up. Now for our capital T. It goes upstairs and downstairs, but not in the basement. So this is the easy part. You start at the ceiling and you make a straight line all the way down to the floor, like a number one or a lowercase what? L, very good. But we're missing something. He needs to wear a hat. 
So we are going to go across and we are going to put a hat on our letter T. Do you all see that? Now for our lowercase t, it goes in the upstairs a tiny bit. He mostly lives downstairs and he does not go in the basement. So we are going to start in the middle of the upstairs and we are just going to make a straight line down that touches the floor. But we're missing something in our lowercase t. We are missing his arms. If we all stand up straight and we put our arms out, we are making a lowercase t. We have a straight stick down and we are putting our arms across. So if you forget, if you're writing, you say, how do I make a little t? Think, oh yeah, I can stand straight up and put my arms out. And that is a lowercase t. So we need to make the arms for our letter. And they go straight across like that. Can you see it? Kind of looks like a cross too, right? So this is our capital letter S, lowercase s, capital T, and lowercase t. Make sure you guys are practicing that and doing your name up top. If you have an S or a T in your name, then you should already have really good practice with this. I can think of Juliet that has a T in their name. Who has an S? Louis has an S. Who else? Um, Asher has an S. There's a few of you that have an S and some of you have T's, okay? So make sure you are practicing and have a great weekend and I will see you again on Monday.